Greetings, today we are talking about triangles. More specifically, we are going to be classifying triangles by angle size. Do you remember this angle? Kind of looks like an L or a corner, it has a special name. If you guessed right angle, you are correct. And sometimes it has this little marker in its corner so that we know for sure it's a right angle. And these can be spotted everywhere. Do you see any on this candy? Well, all of its corners. This piece of paper, all of its corners. How about this window? This window has several. Here's just a few. How about take a look around this room? Do you see any? Several, more than I've got marked. Maybe you can find some more. So what is the importance of angle size and triangles? Well, these triangles all have a right angle. Because they have a right angle, they have a special name. Can anyone guess the special name of triangles which contain a right angle? If you guessed right triangles, you are correct. But what about all of the other triangles, the ones that don't have a right angle? What do we call them? Are they left triangles? Are they wrong triangles? Well, they're going to be named based on their angle size as well. So, back to this right angle. Some angles are smaller and some angles are larger than a right angle and those each have names. So if it's larger than a right angle, that means it's open wider than our right angle, it's called an obtuse angle. So what are the ones called that are smaller? They don't open quite as far as a right angle. Well, they're called acute angles. Okay. So how does this relate to triangles? Well, let's take a look at these angles if they were triangles. So now, these each need a special name. We know the one in the middle has a right angle and it's called a right triangle. The one on the left has an obtuse angle and it's called, amazingly, an obtuse triangle. So what happens on the right here? We have three acute angles. This is called an acute triangle. Okay. Let's look at some examples here. How about this one? Take a look at its angles. What do you notice? We notice it has an obtuse angle. We're not worried that it also has acute angles. It has an obtuse angle, which means it's an obtuse triangle. How about this one? These angles all look pretty small to me. Looks like three acute angles. We're going to call this one an acute triangle. Okay, let's look at this group here. Take a look. How about this first one on the left? It has an obtuse angle, so it's called an obtuse triangle. Good job. How about the one in the middle? Looks like three acute angles. That one's called, correct, an acute triangle. And last but not least, another obtuse triangle. Okay, excellent job. Now you know how to classify your triangles based on their angle size, and you can practice on your own.